How is love? What is love? How does it work? Hi, I'm Allie Pierman. I'm really glad you stopped by today for a continuation of the piece we started last week on what love is and how it functions for you. During the summer of love, 1967, yeah, I was a flower child. Okay. The Beatles then presented this powerful message to the world. All you need is love. Dun, da, 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 da. Now, basically, they said you can be, do, and have anything when love is present in your world. Now, you can only give away what you already have, right? So, people who love themselves truly know what love is. Those individuals easily show love to others. Sadly, few people truly and completely love themselves. Now, if you think you want more love in your life, simply give love away. When you discover something missing from your world, consider that its absence usually reflects your being stingy about giving it away. So when you notice a shortage of love in your life, you often wind up hoarding it. How will you receive more if you're so fearful of losing what you have? You can blame your partner, your parents, your friends, your kids, your neighbors for failing to give you enough love or you can choose to look at yourself and accept yourself exactly as you are, all the positive and the self-inflicted negative aspects included. Your self-love comes from you alone. Maybe you grew up thinking you were unlovable. You can choose to continue to live in that story, your story of being unlovable, or you can choose to replace that story with a new story of being very lovable. The way you take care of yourself reveals your degree of self-love and self-respect. How you treat yourself tells others how you want them to treat you. When you love you, know you can be, do, and have anything you want because you feel loved. You'll also feel and receive love from others who support you. Scientists report that the well-being of individuals correlates with the number of happy, successful relationships in which they participate. They include religious affiliations, social groups, family, and friends. A close friend once spent time with me while I was visiting with my adult children. She later told me that she was sure her kids know she loves them and that she does not tell them, I love you, often enough. Now, I raised two great kids who have always and will continue to hear those words over and over again from me, as will all my grandchildren, as do all my family and my friends. You may well have a different definition of love from those whom you love. Your loving gestures may go unnoticed or worse, be misinterpreted as uncaring behaviors or even thoughtlessness. Speaking the words, I love you, appears to send a message of love. However, 
Not all people experience love as spoken words. Express love the way the individual recognizes your action as love. How do you know what they need to feel loved? Ask them. We each have our own unique definition of love, though probably have no clue that's true. Her feelings happen unintentionally. When we fail to define for ourselves and then share with those in our world what we need to feel love. Now, if you'd like a written copy of what I just said, scroll down below the video, click the link, and I'll send a PDF over for you to download. Again, I'm Allie Bierman, and you can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com, a huge part and probably the most important first step in building your relationship intelligence is understanding what love is to you so you can love yourself and get love from others because finally they'll know how to deliver it the way you recognize it.